Hey, it's Kelly from Ready, Set, Drone. And if you've been watching my videos lately, you know I've got a couple of mini FPV quads, 120, 122 millimeter uh, class quads. They're pretty awesome. And today I'm gonna compare two of them, the Atom and the Owl. So check it out. So as I said, these are both uh, considered mini uh, FPV quads. They are both from Helipal, uh, helipal.com if you want to check them out. And basically they're very similar quads. The Atom um, has a bottom mounted battery, but they both take the same battery. They both have the same 3100 kilovolt motors. Um, they both have the same uh, heads up display, battery beeper when the battery gets low. Um, they both use clean flight. Uh, and they both work with the Tyrannus FR Sky radio. Um, you can bind both of them with this same radio, which is great. One radio, two awesome little quads. The biggest difference, as you can see, is just the uh, form factor and the actual um, uh, protection around them. So this guy is pretty open. Um, I like this a lot. It's very agile, very fast. My biggest issue uh, negative about this quad is actually there's two of them. Number one is that the battery's kind of hard to get on in the right place and the right balance. Um, and number two, there isn't a lot of tolerance between the blades and everything else. So it, the blades tend to, to hit the wires or run into the strap that holds the battery. There's just a lot of issues with these blades being so tight in. But it looks super cool and it is very agile and very quick. This guy is a little bit heavier um, because of this frame. But essentially, if you look, they're about the same size in terms of their uh, distance to the motors. I'd say about 120, 122 millimeters for both of them in the motors. The reason I like the Owl is it's just bulletproof. I mean, this thing is designed to bump into stuff and not break a prop, not bend any sort of components. And the props have plenty of clearance. Um, everything is a little bit more hidden in this thing. There isn't a lot of opportunity for things to get uh, scraped or broken. So I really like it. The only thing that, the only downside to this guy is it's a little less agile because of its weight and because of the frame around it, it, it just takes a little more to get it up off the ground and get it going. That said though, it still can do some pretty amazing stuff. These motors are very powerful and uh, tw uh, the 200 milliwatt uh, transmitter gives you a great FPP signal with a full on-screen display with a lot of different data. In conclusion, I'll keep this short. Um, the Atom is probably the more serious racer and uh, the more agile of the two, but you're going to have to, it's a little more high maintenance, it's like a Ferrari, you're going to have to do a little bit more work to keep the cables from getting cut and keep anything from breaking and replacing props. The Owl is also very, very fast, but a lot more solid. It's probably more the, the Ford pickup truck of the mini quad area, if there is such a thing. Um, this guy is definitely... Uh, great for beginners because it does have the ability to bump into things with this frame. Uh, you're not going to break as many props and it really, um, it's also easier to get the battery on because the battery goes on top and it sits nice and level when you turn it on um, because there's no battery on the bottom. When you set this thing down it tends to be a little cockeyed which I don't know if that throws the gyros off or not but um, I try to get it as flat as possible when I take off. So either way these two are about the same price. Um, depending on if you get the bind and fly or the ready to fly version, but you can check them both out at helipal.com, the owl and the atom. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to Ready, Set, Drone, and thanks, leave your comments below. See you next time.